Today's Better Health segment, we are talking about a new treatment for prostate cancer. CBS Atlanta's Christine Van Blocklin takes us to meet the patients and doctors at Jenkins Clinic. <laughs> Robert Taylor is a happy man today, telling jokes and chatting with his doctor. But this is after a diagnosis of prostate cancer two years ago. And he did 12 biopsies and found two of cancer. And he at that time recommended that I get a second opinion. And that recommendation brought Robert to the Jenkins Clinic and to Dr. Jamie Wong, a leading specialist in neurologic, laparoscopic, and robotic surgery. Dr. Wong treated Robert's prostate cancer with a new procedure called the nano knife. Despite the fact it's called a nano knife, uh, there's no knife involved, so there's no cutting involved. Uh, we actually use uh, little needle sized probes. Uh, I insert those into the prostate and uh, create microsecond long electrical pulses. And what this does, actually creates little holes or pores uh, in, the, in the cell wall. And those punctures or holes in the cell walls cause the cancerous cells to die. Dr. Wong was actually the very first urologist in North America and the second in the world to use the nano knife to treat prostate cancer. The results and the recovery time are incredible. But I know I was awake at quarter of eight in the morning when I was rolled to the ER. And I know that I was home uh, shortly after noon in Gainesville with no pain, no pain medication or anything else. Nanonife was the best option for Robert, but there are others. It could be anything from observation uh, to radiation uh, to prostate removal surgery, which is called a prostatectomy. And there are other forms of ablation, uh, either heating the prostate called HIFU, cooling the prostate or freezing the prostate called cryotherapy, and then using the nanonife to use electricity uh, to uh, treat the prostate as well. And Dr. Wong says early prostate cancer detection is the key. He recommends annual exams starting at age 40. It's easier to do it every year, uh, but the people who have particular high risk of prostate cancer uh, would be people who are African American, uh, who have a family history of prostate cancer, and then the older you are, the higher likelihood that you'll develop prostate cancer as well. To contact the Jenkins Clinic, go to JenkinsClinic.org or call 404-240-9700. And for more information, go to CBSAtlanta.com and click on Better Health. For CBS Atlanta, I'm Christine Van Blockland.